Here we're going to have a look at what happens inside and a simple four-stroke internal combustion engine. So this engine here is a Briggs & Stratton single-cylinder four-stroke internal combustion engine. We have a piston over here which travels up and down inside a cylinder. The piston is connected to a crankshaft via a connecting rod. The crankshaft is connected to this arm that allows me to rotate it so we can see what happens as the piston travels up and down inside the engine. The exhaust would be connected to this section here. So the exhaust would come out of the engine, would flow through the exhaust system. So the air that's going to burn with the fuel enters the engine through the air intake. It then passes along a venturi where fuel is sucked up and mixed with the air before it passes along to enter into the engine. So let's now have a look at the four strokes of the engine. And to make this a bit simpler, let's take the head off the engine. So remove the head of the engine so that we can see the piston and the valves. So now let's have a look at the four strokes of the engine. The first stroke has the piston travelling down. The piston travels down and the intake valve opens, so we draw the air-fuel mixture into the engine. Near the bottom of the stroke, the intake valve now closes. The intake and the exhaust valves are closed. The piston travels up and compresses the air-fuel mixture in the second stroke. At the end of the second stroke, the spark plug fires igniting the air-fuel mixture, which drives the piston down. This is the power stroke. Both the inlet valve and the exhaust valve are closed. At the bottom of the uh, stroke, the exhaust valve starts to open and we get the final stroke, which is the exhaust stroke, where the air-fuel mixture is expelled out through the exhaust system. And then we're ready for the next uh, intake stroke. The dual fuel engine is also equipped with a backup fuel system. This is a normal diesel process with camshaft operated liquid fuel pumps. The pumps run in parallel with the process and work as a standby. Gas and pilot injection is not in use during liquid fuel operation. The liquid